Hey YouTube, it's Robert, and today we are gonna do a head-to-head -head comparison of LVT and laminate flooring. And this topic was requested in the comments of another video, and I found it incredibly relevant, as laminate and LVT are two of the most popular flooring selections for hard surface in the industry right now. And they both comprise this larger category that we often refer to as waterproof and water-resistant flooring. So I've compiled a list of 10 metrics for us to compare these two products on. And each wins in some categories and loses in others. Though I will crown a winner at the end, I will say that it is somewhat subjective and depending on what you specifically are looking for from your floor, my winner may not be your best option. And I will also say that these are my opinions and experiences based off of thousands of projects and the feedback from clients. However, there's a lot of factors that we can look at between different brands, entry level versus premium grade in each category. So we're looking at this from a very broad scope right now. And I'm sure inevitably many of you are gonna disagree with me and you'll probably let me know in the comments down below. So I look forward to our dialogue down there. I will also say that this video is not sponsored and I am not being paid in any way to talk about any of the brands that I might mention in this video. So these are just strictly my honest thoughts and opinions and this video is strictly for entertainment and to help you on your flooring search. So we'll compare these products based off the realism of the look, the variety of looks that they offer, how scratch resistant, water resistant, and stain resistant they are, the ease of installation, the ease of care, and the ease of repairs for each product, how sound resistant each product is, and finally, the price and value proposition that each product offers. So first category, which one looks more realistic? Well, laminate's gonna get the slight edge in this one. Although both products do a pretty good job of mimicking a variety of different species and looks, laminate is going to look more overall realistic. It tends to have less of a shiny plasticky look than what a lot of the LVTs offer. And the overall texture and grain is a little bit more sophisticated in how they can replicate the actual texture and grain of wood. Laminate has been around longer and the printing and texturing processes for it are a little bit more sophisticated. LVT has made a lot of improvements, but it's still not quite where we are with laminate. So if you're looking for something that really replicates both the look and also the feel of wood, then laminate is going to be the slight winner in that category. And you'll really appreciate that when we're looking at the kind of mid to higher grade uh, laminates, because in both categories, LVT and laminate, the lower end products are gonna have the least amount of technology for creating the most sophisticated textures and looks. Our second metric is which one has the greater variety of looks to be offered. And in this category, LVT is the overwhelming winner. It has a lot more to offer us in the species that it replicates, the sizes and colors that are offered, things like herringbone patterns that it offers, as well as if you're looking for any kind of stone or tile looks, it has a lot more to choose from than what laminate has. Now we're gonna get into one of our tougher categories here, which is very contentious within our industry, and that is this whole topic of waterproof flooring. Now LVT is gonna be the slight winner in this category, although there's gonna be a couple little caveats that are worth mentioning on this. Now LVT, we can just take and soak in water indefinitely. With laminate, we can't just take and dunk a product into water and leave it there. The wood fiber core is going to eventually be compromised. However, when it comes to actual installed floors and the things that we subject them to on a day-to-day -day basis, the products are very, very similar. Also, if you see my other videos on this topic, you'll know waterproof and floodproof are not the same thing. Neither product is floodproof if you were to have a major catastrophe in your home. In my particular market, we see a lot more issues with vinyl floors having moisture related damage from the moisture that's emitted coming up through the concrete. And the biggest reason for this is a lot of installers weren't putting down a moisture barrier because this product was touted as waterproof. But the actual moisture pressure rising up through the concrete compromises the joints of the floor. So we've seen more moisture related issues with vinyl flooring, even though it is technically the more waterproof floor. So vinyl gets the slight edge on water resistance, but when it comes to scratch resistance, we're gonna give the edge back to laminate. 
and both have products that offer tremendous degrees of scratch resistance and can hold up to very high levels of traffic. But overall, I do tend to see that vinyl shows a lot more of the little micro scratches that we get from things like dog nails, little pebbles that come in through shoes. A lot of these things can even be removed from the wear layer, but you do tend to notice them a little bit more. I also find that laminate does seem to hold up a little bit better to a lot of the more significant type of gouges that we could put accidentally dragging furniture across the floor. So I am going to give, again, comparing fairly comparable grades of products, our edge back to laminate on the scratch resistance category. Next, we have stain resistance, which on this particular metric, we're gonna call it a tie because both products offer a tremendous degree of resistance to staining and being able to clean these off of each product is as much based off of the particular texture of one versus another. But as far as overall category, one being better than the other, I would say it's an almost indistinguishable difference. Next category is ease of installation. And both products are typically floated with a locking system that allows us to just lock the floor planks together so that we don't use any glue, staples, or nails to install all these floors. However, laminate is gonna get the slight edge on this one because the locking system generally tends to be a little easier to work with on laminate than it does with vinyl. Another factor, both products, our subfloor requirements need to be the same, but laminate is slightly more forgiving against any of the subfloor imperfections than what vinyl is. Again, because vinyl is a thinner and a little bit more brittle product in the joint structure, it's less forgiving against any kind of undulations in our subfloor. So for ease of install, if you need to do that extra level of subfloor preparation for LVT, that is again going to make it a little Little bit easier for us on the laminate install. Although I will emphasize you still need to do your proper subfloor preparation for both products. So much of the install process looks the exact same for these two products, but those little differences make laminate the slight winner in this category. Now, once it's installed, which of these two floors is the easier to care for? Well, again, I'm gonna say we have a virtual tie because both of these products are pretty low maintenance, easy to care for floors that you can really take a less is more approach with in terms of how you clean and care for it. Now, although both LVT and Laminate have some brands that even say you can steam mop some of their products, I generally don't recommend doing anything other than vacuuming it, sweeping it, and using a Swiffer type mop with a microfiber head that's mildly damp for your day-to-day -day cleaning. These floors really are designed to make your life easier, not harder, and you don't need to go out and do anything overly sophisticated to try and keep them clean. So again, we have a tie in our category of ease of care. As far as ease of repair, laminate is gonna be the winner. If we have planks that need to be replaced altogether, the repair protocol for these two is very similar, and it could be as simple as removing one plank, but generally we have to deconstruct a big section of the floor, or we need specific tools to try and take a single plank out of the middle of a room that is beyond repair. However, if it comes to taking care of little gouges, nicks, uh, laminate, we have an easier time trying to repair because we can even use furniture repair kits and there's specific repair kits for laminate that I think make it a little bit easier. Whereas repairing gouged vinyl is not as easy of a process. Uh, it can be done, but I think laminate wins and is slightly easier in this respect. One of the biggest questions that often comes up with floating floors is how do they sound? And when we compare the two products on this metric, LVT is gonna be our winner. So with both of these floors, our sound reduction is not just dictated by the product, but also by the underlayments that we use. However, LVT, we have brands like Cortec that even have attached cork backings on them. When I've walked through homes of completed projects, I always feel like the LVT feels and sounds quieter to me. So LVT wins this one. And our 10th metric is going to be the price slash value proposition. And I could very easily compare our entry level in one product versus our premium level of the other or anywhere in between. And we could come up with all sorts of ways to say one is better than the other, but I'm going to give the point to laminate on this one because we can get some of our premier highest grade laminates with some of the most advanced technology in the printing and texture of them for a middle of the range price point of a luxury vinyl floor. When it comes to LVT specifically, 
quickly, I really want us to stay away from the entry level products because those are gonna be the ones that are the most questionable in terms of where they're coming from and how they're made. With our laminate, we can go with some fairly entry level products and still know that we're getting something that's made in the USA and has a lot of standards still being applied to it even at that entry level price point. So our final score is five for laminate, three for the luxury vinyl, and two categories that were a tie for our overall winner and my personal preference, laminate. However, don't overthink this too much. As you can see, there's a lot of those categories where it's really neck and neck between them or it's something that's very subjective from one job to the next. So if you find one that you really love, do your homework, do your research, but I don't think that you should shy away from either. It's just knowing what the proper expectations are for each. And make sure that wherever you go to do your shopping, you're doing it through a reputable dealer that's gonna be there to stand behind the product if you have any legitimate issues with it later on. So there you have it. If you think I missed any points of comparison, let me know down in the comments. And if there's any topics that you'd like to see me discuss in the future, as I mentioned before, this video came by request in the comments of another video. So I do read as many of these as I can and I factor them in to what kind of content I talk about with you guys in the future. If you found this video helpful, be sure to let me know by hitting that thumbs up button. Let me know down in the comments. And if you wanna see more videos from me in the future, be sure to subscribe. Again, my name is Robert. I'm here to help with all your remodeling needs. So until next time, happy remodeling and have a great day.